morning. How are you? This is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. What are you going to do with it? Remember, I talked about any residue that you need to clean up from yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up. If you're angry and upset and not happy with what the way things are going, you created that mess. You're the only one that can clean that up. Okay, we are not promised tomorrow. This is it. Yesterday is gone. I'm going to go over the list of all the things that control us throughout the day. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people-pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationship, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere. Then you have nothing but excuses, gambling, work. Working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine, surgeries, pain, being in a relationship with a man or a woman mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually abusing one another. And you may want to add to the list. Okay, today I want to talk about how everything we do matters. Everything we do throughout the day matters do you like what you're doing and it's all about energy the type of energy that we put out everything is made up of energy the bottom line is um, even if we run out of money um, we do an exchange of energy services who we are as human beings do you like the energy that you're putting out and everything is a give-and-take everything is an exchange and is your energy worth catching? So I, one of the things that I had to really learn to respect, which I didn't um, years ago, all I did was go, 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 work, 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 but I never included in how I kept my home, how um, I worked out, how I took care of my kids. I always thought like the most important thing was because I was always making money, that that was the only thing that matters. But everything matters. How we get up, how we start our day, how we work our body, how we treat our body, how we treat our children, how we treat our grandchildren, how we treat our parents, how we treat our friends, it all matters. So today, and it it all counts, and it's all energy. So it's not just about making money. And I had to get away from that mindset. Now... Um, even down to my resting counts, my downtime counts, my um, enjoyment, uh, my playtime counts, it all matters. It's all part of the schedule. Where before, I used to feel guilty about taking time. I used to feel guilty about taking uh, naps. Not anymore. It all matters. So this is what I talked about, how... Um, I want you to look at your energy and what kind of energy are you putting out and and really, really get how everything you do matters and how you take care of yourself. And remember, the level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect that you get in return. So it's important that you check your energy and what you're doing throughout the day. Okay, now we're going to talk about balance. Not too much of anything. Our kids, our partner, our play, our work. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You teach yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect that you get in return. The goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. Our thinking can make or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as going to the bathroom. Remember, if you have an attitude, be attitude, being in the highest possible state of happiness, good humor, and contentment with the way things are. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. People
people say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world, here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, that is taking care of the world. We all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. Doing your part, no exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Hey, you manipulators, smooth talkers, narcissisms, your words mean nothing, and your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful saying from Louise L. Hay. Addiction, you are running from yourself, not knowing how to love yourself. Loving treatment. Deep at the center of my being, there's an infinite well of love. I now allow this love to flow to the surface. It fills my heart, my body, my mind, my conscious, my very being. It radiates from me in all directions and returns to me multiplied. The more love I use and give, the more I have to give. The supply is endless. The use of love makes me feel good. It's an expression of my inner joy. I love myself, therefore I take lovingly care of my body. I lovingly feed it nourishing foods and beverages. I lovingly groom it and dress it, and my body lovingly responds to me with vibrant health and energy. I love myself, therefore I provide for myself a comfortable home, one that fills all my needs and is a pleasure to be in. I fill the rooms with the vibration of love so that all who enter, myself included, will feel this love and be nourished by it. I love myself, therefore I work at a job that I truly enjoy doing, one that uses my creative talents and abilities, working with and for people that I love and that love me and earning a good income. I love myself, therefore I behave and think in a loving way to all people, for I know that what I give out returns to me multiplied. I only attract loving people in my world, for they are mirror of what I am. I love myself, therefore I forgive and totally release the past. In past experiences, I am free. I love myself, therefore I live totally in the now, experiencing each moment as good and knowing that my future is bright and joyous and secure, for I'm a beloved child of the universe, and the universe lovingly takes care of me now and forevermore, and so it is, trust the process, no more questioning, all I need is taken care of, Louise L. Hay. Okay, I'm going to read a little part from my book. All right, we are on page 96, um, physical. List the things you don't like, the, list the things you don't like and the things you do like about yourself and your body. I'll read this one more time. List the things you don't like and the things you do like about yourself and your body. Oh boy, this is so funny. It's just like growing up in my body, um, I went through so many different stages with my body, but I was always very strong. I was into sports, so I, I ran. I, I, play, I, I was in track and played basketball and beat up the boys and very physical. And one of the things I always hated was my toes. I had these big fat toes and I always had an ass and, and I used to have nicknames. Oh boy, the names just kept on going with my butt. But as time went on, and I, I modeled, and I was never thin enough. And then you look back and see how thin you are. You go, oh, my God. And then as you get older, and then you go through the stages of your body as it changes. And when I got my new knee and menopause, my whole body shifted. It was like, holy hell, what the hell happened? We all go through these crises. My husband said, if you're a guy and you look down and you can't see your penis, that means it's time to uh, get to work. So we all have different issues, we all have different problems, we all carry weight differently. And the bottom line is, it's um, if you're abusing yourself and if you're abusing yourself with food and with drugs, with alcohol, whatever it is, you're not going to like your body no matter what. But when you're treating yourself with love, you don't mind your, your defects and there's some things you will never be able to control. It's really coming to peace with your body. And um, again, I um, never work so hard for my body and I probably love and respect my body more now than I ever have in my entire life. Am I perfect? No. Are there flaws? Yes. Are there things I don't like? You bet. But I've come to peace with them of what I can and cannot change. And um, I literally work on my food every day. I make sure my food is clean. I make a conscious effort when I eat. I drink water all day. I work out. Um, but I don't strive to um, 
kill myself. I don't overdo anything anymore. And I tell you, there's a lot of freedom in that, um, loving and respecting your body. And when you do that, nobody could really bother you or beat you down or judge you. We are our biggest critic in how we treat ourselves. We are our biggest critic in how we talk to ourselves. So today, if you're overeating, if you're abusing yourself with food, if you're starving yourself, I suggest you get some help and start treating your body with the utmost respect because that truly is our temple and without it, we, we, um, we can't function and our health is so important. So I want you to make that a priority today and look at what, the, what are the things that you need to change and what are the things you need to be at peace with and start working on the weak areas of your body. I work with every area of my body and I do super circuit training so I feel strong throughout my whole body and not just one area. Work on one thing at a time, eventually it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts, what's controlling you. I accept today where I am powerless, I have control, where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss my loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she's appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today, be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust, respect, and be honest with them. Accountability is key. We cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will accept and say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I am willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner if I become it. I will attract a discipline as freedom. Do two things a day that you don't want to do to have a successful day. My two things are always getting up early, doing my podcast, working out, and keeping my food clean, and the rest will follow. We can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from our head to our heart. You can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my workbooks and my um, services. Createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my services with you. And remember, I'm doing the podcast Monday through Friday. Hit that colorful round button that says L. Share it with everybody you love and respect. Please start with podcast number one, number two, number three. There's order into receiving all this information. And remember, it do it for 30 days and it will change your life to it will change your life forever. And remember, I want you to have a super day today and thank you for listening.